Hello everyone. I hope everyone had a wonderful and safe holiday season and we are on to 2021. Happy New Year everyone. We're finally here. So this is my first grocery haul of 2021. I'm super excited because it's at one of my favorite stores and I did go to another store um, just for a couple things. So um, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Desiree. I will let you know each price. Um, I have my receipts. That's that crinkly sound you hear. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. It will tell me to continue making more of them. And if you have any questions, please let me know below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button as well. I share grocery hauls, coupon deals, and just mom life stuff. So yeah, let's just get started. So I went to Kroger today and got these two things. Well, actually it was a few things. My neighbor needed something, so I ran to the store for her and I wanted to pick up my son's prescription. So that's why I went to Kroger. But this is on sale this week. This is Simple Truth Keto French Ice Cream. I got the coffee chip flavor. I haven't tried this yet. It is eight net carbs per pint. No, I'm not on the keto diet, but um, I just wanted to try it out. I know Aldi sells it once in a while, but my Aldi is always out of all keto stuff. <laughs> so yeah, this is my, this is the nutrition facts and ingredients. If you want a clearer picture, please let me know below. And if you're um, curious, I haven't tried it yet to how it tastes, please ask me below and I will let you know. Um, this is the other thing that I wanted to share. This is $1.99 at my Kroger store, but I got it for free on Fetch Rewards. I got 100% in points back, so that's 1,990 points. And with all receipts, make sure you upload them to Receipt Hall, Fetch Rewards, and Receipt Pal. Um, because those little points do add up. I tend to get about $10 in either Amazon or PayPal money a month. So now that, so that's it for Kroger. I'm talking fast because my phone is saying that I'm running out of like storage space, which, oh well. So <laughs> one of the many reasons why I love Costco. So I've never gotten one of these because I guess I don't get very many um, electronics, but I got a little nice little letter in the mail from Costco saying that they got a better deal on the GoPro Hero 9. I bought one um, during the Black Friday sale in November and they got a better deal from um, GoPro, I guess, and they wanted to pass the savings on to the customer, so they gave us um, $10, which I did not know the price even went down. I wouldn't have noticed it, but it was really nice of them to pass on that savings, so I am gonna do a Costco versus Sam's Club video. If you're interested in seeing that, let me know below, and it'll give me a little push to actually um, do a comparison video for you, but I love Costco. Just letting you know that right now. <laughs> Next thing, so they had all the different flavors at my Costco. They had chocolate, vanilla, but I wanted to try the cafe latte. I tried the cookies and cream at Sam's Club the other month and I did like it. Um, texture wise, I wish they had some bits of cookie in there, but yeah, I guess that's not healthy at all. New year, new me, maybe. Well, look at the rest of my haul. There's lots of carbs. But anyway, so it was $19.99 for an 18 pack. I thought that was an awesome deal. If you drink this, um, get it now at Costco. Next thing, boring, but it was $2.99 for my pack of water, a 40 pack of water, Kirkland brand. Um, and I buy one every month. We do drink filtered water, but I like to have this for my husband to take to work instead of the big bottle that he sometimes loses. And, um, not that anything's wrong with that because I lose the bottles too, but um, it's just cheaper. And I get one every month just to have water in our stockpile um, in case of emergency. So there's that. Next thing, $13.99 for these Kirkland cold brew coffees, 100% Colombian. They're, um, these little cans and they are good. So $13.99, you get 12 cans and yes, you can make cold brew at home much cheaper, but these are just convenient to have in the fridge. Um, my husband likes them on the weekend. There is no cream or sugar in them. They're just black, but Honestly, I can drink them plain too, and I tend to like cream and sugar in my coffee, but they're just convenient to have in the fridge for like those weekend pick-me-ups. So yeah, moving on. This giant stack of almond crackers. So these were $5.99 each. They're normally $8.99. I got three. It's a limit of six. My husband's like, you might have to go back and get three more. I don't think so. Um, this should be enough for three to six months. We'll see. Um, it does come in two bags in each box if you want to see the um, nutrition facts. Well, I'll show this to you. Sorry, I'm trying to hold that. 
there we go there's the nutrition facts and the ingredients um yeah if you want a clearer picture let me know below and i'll take one for you instead of showing you in video and having you pause and all that but yeah 5.99 is an awesome deal if you're like us and like to just snack on crackers at night um these are just better for you i think than like ritz or something like that toll house um, and they're good with dips as well. They're really, really good. Next thing, 4505 chicharrones or pork rinds. These are normally $6.69, but they're $2 off, making it $4.69. This is a seven ounce bag. So it's lightweight, but it's really big. It's it's Costco. It's Everything's big in Costco. Um, so yeah, I have had it before. It's the classic chili and salt flavor. It's a, It has a little bit of a kick, but it's not too crazy where even my four-year-old son enjoys it with me. So yeah, zero carb snack right there. Next thing, we bought this the last time it was on sale. I think we bought two or three bags and we got a little tired of it. But my son was with me and he said he wanted it again. This is, tw I think it's 20 ounces. Sorry. Yeah, 20 ounces of lightly salted Harvest Snap. Um, they're the organic ones. And these are normally $7.99, but it's $2.90 off making it 510 or 509 for those for a big bag of those um he liked them as a toddler as well if you have toddlers at home and need a snack and i like the resealable bag i wish a lot of other things like cereal came with a resealable bag but you know <laughs> next thing is vinegar heinz all natural distilled white vinegar 5% acidity, 1.32 ounces. This was 329. I use vinegar and baking soda, which my baking soda I buy every year at Costco for like 8.99 for a giant bag. My mixture is usually half a cup of baking soda and one to two cups of vinegar. And I use that to clean the washing machine, the dishwasher, um, sink drains and stuff. And yeah, it, it, it works. Um, and I'll tend to get, go through one of these every two to three months. Next thing, sorry, I'm trying to go kind of fast. Next thing is these mashed potatoes. So there was a, um, a lot of good deals walking around Costco today, a lot of asterisks. So if you shop at Costco regularly or don't, um, the asterisk just means that that's like the end of their stock. They're not ordering anymore. And so you might not see it for a while. And a lot of times if it's still there for a little bit, they drop the price. Sorry, my son is playing, if you can hear him. So this was $3.97. And yeah, it also ends with a... 97 as well so 397 for eight pouches they are four um, servings each these at walmart are like a dollar each so i thought it was a good deal about 50 cents each and even their great value brand is like 60 something cents so um this is going in my stockpile my son can live off of mashed potatoes if he had to <laughs> next thing another asterisk deal and i don't even think i've ever seen this in costco before this is 197 for kosher dill spears um they're 32 ounces each at Aldi, one of these are like $1.50, so I thought that was an awesome deal, $1.97 for two jars. Um, didn't necessarily need pickles this trip. I don't really have, I have one, one jar, but yeah, uh, we'll have pickles through the spring and maybe the summer. We'll see. <laughs> Next thing that my son was really excited about, and there's an extra deal on this as well. So this is usually $11.87, but it's $3.50 off. What is that? So... 8 839 for this four where is it 4.2 pounds of nutella um i just love nutella like to do it on toast and pancakes and all the things um and there was a checkout 51 deal now it's a rebate system kind of like ibotta um that i that's on your phone and it's one dollar off a nutella product or a nutella jar i guess and even the ones at Costco, sometimes like if it's a, it says like not valid on two packs, but check out 51's a lot like Ibotta. So I highly suggest you upload it. That one extra dollar made me closer to the $20 to cash out. So yeah, check out 51 for that, making it seven, seven and change there. Next thing my son was also excited about, as you can see, this is a snack heavy haul at Costco. I usually buy like my lunch meat and cheese, but my husband actually has been off the past couple weeks. Um, some years for shutdown, he's off. Some years he has to work. So this year he was off. Yay. <laughs> but um, so we still have a lot of like meats and things in the fridge, like cheese and lunch meat and ground beef. So I didn't buy those things today. But 
um, a lot of snacks, <laughs> lots and lots of crackery snacks. So $6.99 for 45 packs of goldfish. These are the small um, one ounce bags. I like the one ounce bags rather than the big giant Costco bags, like the, like almost like the cereal bags, if you know what I mean, um, amount, because it's um, portion control one. So like if me or hubby get into it and it keeps it fresh. I can't stand when like goldfish and stuff go stale really fast. So yeah, $6.99 for that. I buy it when it goes on sale and check your dates on everything, okay? So moving back here. My bananas were $1.85 today. Um, the non-organic bananas were like $1.65, but these just look better. So yep, there's that. And it is cheaper than getting it at like Kroger. So this is this was avocados or four twenty nine, which is really low. Like sometimes it's up to seven dollars for six avocados. To me, Costco's avocados are always the best. The pit isn't huge and takes up the whole fruit. Yes, avocados are fruit, and um, I'm going to try to do this. So it says when the avocados are ripe, which these are very green, when they are ripe, um, put them in the fridge to slow down ripening. So yep, I'm going to try that. They also had like the avocado mash with salt and pepper, like not the guacamole cups, but they're in the cups and there were $9.99 for like 18 of them, like a pack of 18 for $9.99. I thought it was a good deal, but it was a little too close in date for my preference. Yes, you can freeze it, but like any other fruit and vegetable, like the texture is a little off after that. But if you rather have the little cups, those are on sale this month. Oh, and for this month, most of these deals, I think including those avocado cups, go until January 24th, by the way. This, I'm so excited they had these back. It was $6.79 for these natural oven keto-friendly buns. Again, we're not keto, but we just like to uh, um, eat better, try to eat better sometimes. Oh, and I completely skipped something back there. I just noticed. <laughs> so yeah, $6.79. They do have the white bread like in the loaves there all the time but they brought these in several months ago and I got it loved it and went back for it and they haven't had it I've checked for it every month but I'm happy they have it back if you're interested in getting this go get it um I don't know if they won't bring it back in for a while again or it's just a sign that people really like it to keep continuing buying it that's what I like to think so there's oh it's shiny shiny there so there's the nutrition facts and stuff they're just a soft, yummy bun. They taste good, um, even though they're keto. I'm going to go back here because I skipped over this. These are something that some other YouTubers, I know Kim from the Wads has talked about it, and I wanted to try it. What? Are, how much were these things? $8.99 minus $3, so $5.99 for these Heavenly Hunk Organic Oatmeal Dark Chocolate Cookies. I love oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. They're my favorite, even over plain chocolate chip cookies, I know. But um, <laughs> here's the nutrition facts on them if you care. Um, I'll take a better picture if you want me to. But yeah, I just wanted to try it out. Sounds good. Not like I need cookies after the holidays, but yeah, wanted to try them anyways. Sounded right up my alley. So these were $4.99 for Laughing Cow. 32 spreadable cheese wedges if you they look like that if you never had laughing cow cheese there is so there's four of these circles in here thought that was a good price because I know they sell them at Aldi but they're like a dollar fifty or so for each one of these so yeah about a dollar twenty five each were a good deal and the date was good on them so they'll be good for a while and my husband will like them with the sorry you keep going blurry with those almond crackers Last thing, and I'm looking around, I hope this is the last thing. If you're ever bored <laughs> and you want to check out my description box below, that's where you'll find my Ibotta and um, what's the other one? Fetch Rewards links. Please look, look below. And sometimes I'll forget something or like a little part of the story I wanted to share that wasn't worth like actually editing my video for, <laughs> but I will put that below. So... This is fully cooked sausage. They're Jones brand pork raised with no added hormones. These are $10.99. I've bought them forever. Good size. You get 38 to 36 to 38 patties in here. They're mild, which I they're just I, I wouldn't say there's any spice in them. I like to use these for sausage biscuits and just for an easy breakfast if I don't feel like frying bacon. <laughs> so yeah, this is my teeny tiny 
no, not really teeny tiny. It's just smaller than usual haul from Costco, but it's the first, well, it's the third of the year, whatever. It's my first grocery haul of the year. I spent 125 today at Costco. It would have been 10 less if I used my gift card, but you know me, I'll go back to Costco next month or in three weeks or maybe to get more crackers, who knows. <laughs> I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I hope I wasn't too crazy on here and I hope everyone has a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.